Hello guys, Leo Cost here, back with another uh, video in this Python RPG series. And in this video we're going to be actually uh, not continuing with AI, instead we're actually going to be doing some modifications to our classes, then we'll be continuing with AI. Because after I finished the first recording, I started to think about it a bit more, about the issues of using the player class, and I've come to the decision that I'm actually going to create a whole new class, and it's going to be a parent class of the player and AI class. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to create a new item. Uh, okay, it's going to be Python class, and this is going to be called the character class. Just character. And over here, what we're going to do is we're going to essentially we are going to copy this from location, import location. So we are going to import location. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to so over here the init function and I'm actually going to call this I call this starting yeah that's fine actually yeah I'm also then going to copy over here and set location we're going to have a set location as well and sure we'll have a get location as well because I feel like these make sense. Instead of me having to, you know, print dot uh, player dot pos x, I can just say, yeah, player dot get location, boom, it does it for me. It prints up the uh, pos x and pos y for me. Of course, I could probably format this as well. I could probably, you know, say do, do that, uh, followed by plus, um, mm -hmm. and isn't it weird? This. Nope. Okay, so we've got the character class. Now, if I just copy over this, okay, we're going to create is another class, and this is going to be the player class. Player. But instead of us over here defining int and stuff, what we're going to do instead is we're just going to say uh, super. And what we're going to say, yeah, we're going to say super dot. Uh, in it. Dot. I hate it. I hate when the intelligence just doesn't work properly. Bloody annoying. Um. <coughs> um. Oh, maybe it's not working properly because I need to pass in. Because I need to pass in character. That might be why it's not working properly. So if I say super dot no so it doesn't that's not all right that should work i should be able to over here uh class ai character right i should be able to say i should be able to have two of these as you can see yeah that should work really so now what's going to have to happen is i'm going to first of all delete the player dot py i'm also going to yeah, that's it. I'm going to delete the player p1 because I've got a free classes. Oh. We have free classes. Oh, I don't want it like that. I want it like that one. Okay. So we've got over here three classes. Of course, we've got over here is a character class. And then we've got here two classes the player and AI uh, and the AI character class. The way, the why, why, why I'm separating these is because potentially the player and the AI will have, may have, uh, it may have different variables. The player might have some additional variables, the AI might have additional as well. They will not all share the same variables. However, what I do know is that all these variables are going to be common to all of them. All these will share the same variables. I do know that. So, if I come over here to my Python RPG file, this way things are going to. Have to this way we're just going to see a huge number of errors because things have just changed. So I'm going to say from player. I wish to import now. I could just say import everything. Yeah. Just import me everything from player, please. Oh, not player. It's from character, I mean. You can spell from. From character. Import everything. Let's import everything from character. So now, for example, 
we do have the return statement, return, return player, we do have that return statement, is that still valid? Well, can we still write player? Well, we can still write player as a class, look at that, so it's, that still works, but all we want to change is the AI one. So, when FOE, which is on, there is the generate AI of here. So, there's no some player, let's say AI character. Let's say AI character. Now, I'm wondering, will this still work, or will there be a bunch of errors? Okay, so, here's an error. This is, so, it's complaining about the CPO. That's what it's complaining about. Okay. Interesting. So, it's complaining about the CPO, which is what I try to do. And... I I think I know why. I think it's because I need to I can't just say super first. I need to define what yeah, there we go. That's it. Well not exactly it. Um well, what I want to do is I want to say, okay, we're gonna define over here and define over here int do I need this as well? Excellent question. Do I need that? That's an excellent question. Um, if I just do this, will that still work? Or am I going to have to need the rest of the stuff? Okay, now let's complain about the AI character. Interesting. Def. Play. Here we go. Like. Yeah. So it's complaining about it. Oh yeah, I will take. Yeah. So it's complaining. Okay. No problem. I'll just do this and just come here and say dev. So interesting. Visual Studio knows that uh, since I am uh, passing or since I'm making AI character a child class or a subclass. Mm -hmm. Of um, character, it's automatically assigned. It's automatically essentially copied to the init function of the character class and just put a return statement to return to the super. So it's only me having to define. It's only me having to copy and paste what the super does. It just says, "Do it." Just or it tells the compiler, um, "Go to your super class, i.e., go to your parent class." So it's telling me return me. Uh, return me the parent class, the parent class, and return me the function in it inside that parent class. So if we do control five, and no issues. Excellent. So this, so just, just, split, so just changing up those classes didn't make a huge, did, didn't cause a lot of errors. One can argue that the program's not that big, so it wouldn't cause a lot of errors, but it didn't cause a lot of errors, which was nice. Um, so, yeah, so currently, so currently the player and the air class currently um, are not different, they are the same for now. I'm wondering if I remove this super state, the return statement, will it still work? As it should do. Yeah, it still works. So we can include return, or we don't have to. Visual Studio automatically put return, so that's maybe um, that might be convention to put the return statement. Whatever. Okay. So now we've got this working. Uh, what we do need to do is we need to set, of course, is the location of these people. Um, once again, we could do it inside the class. There's actually nothing that's stopping us doing it inside the class. Maybe we should do it inside the class. The thing is, with it inside the class, we then have to look at the buildings, the, the buildings list and stuff like that. That's probably stuff we don't wish to actually do. So I prefer to do that inside the Python RPG instead. Uh, there is, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> I'm wondering if I. It was, it's going to be set to zero, isn't it? If I come copy over here and say. 
character time. Dot. Get location. Get me your location, please. Yep. Okay, so it's going to be about this part. Fine. Say string. Do it. Should I really have to explicitly convert to a string? <laughs> Shouldn't it work out that? Uh, Shouldn't it just work out that it needs to be converted to a string? I don't know. So yeah, zero zero. Oh, there's a bit of an issue with this though. On my formatting, I think. Something like that. And actually, let's put a comma instead. Let's put a blank space now. Let's put a comma. Don't want to put a space over here. I um, had a space there, I'm not exactly quite sure why I did it like that. I don't know, it's rather five. And here we go, Monk. Boom. So, here we've got our locations, of course they're set to zero, 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 zero. And that's something you don't want to say, you don't want to say it's zero, zero. Because we don't want characters, you know, um, you don't want characters, first of all, you probably want characters to all be um, to all be um, in in thingy. You don't, you don't want you want characters to um, to not be on the same place. Also, the, there's another question: Should these characters be be stationary? Should they be able to move around? Should we just have uh, when you move around, we'll also move around the character as well, potentially. We should probably do that as well. Just go to a random. We can either make it go to a random position. Or just randomly go north, east, south, or west. Probably just say randomly go north, east, south, or west. If you can, of course. Um, that's if you can. If if there's a building way, don't go that way then. Stuff like that. So the buildings get randomly placed. I'm trying to remember where it is in that code in the code though. Create buildings, generate buildings, get building objects. If to return building. Set ah here we go. Set building random pos. What we want to do now is we want to say here, set. Uh, we want to say set AI character random pos, and we wish to do this right after you've actually um, after you've generated, yeah. So you've you've generated your lovely uh, characters. Boom. Let's then set AI character random pos, please. And I just want to check when's the buildings created. Is it afterwards? Huh. Issue, issue, issue. Should we set the AI characters after the buildings? I'm going to say yes. Let's do that. So after you've set your, yeah, after you've set all your buildings, then we're going to say here, generate. We're going to then generate here some AI characters, which are of course also um, calls the random the random function as well. Okay. So here, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to now go into over here. We're going to have to say so currently. Oh, let's generate. Oops, not generate. You want to go if you if you're running Visual Studio, if you just hit Control. Just hold it and you hover over a function. If you click on it, it'll take you to that function. It's a very, very handy trick. Um, yeah. So, one to get into that. There we go. Okay. What the hell does that. Okay, that's gone. So, when I clicked on it, it would like cover the whole thing and you don't want that. So, we want to is um, set over here random, random position. So, what we need to change is we need to change essentially this over here. So, we need to say over here four AI characters now in. So, for AI character in AI characters, we wish to set the. What we want to say over here is we want to set the new pos x and new pos y. If new pos is not equal to my player pos and. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then 
That gives me the building object. Okay. I'm just thinking of it. Because <laughs> we have to check buildings as well. We have to check buildings. So we have to check two things. So, I'll just build. Oh, I've been editing the building. Oops, not meant. To, I meant. I meant to edit this one. This is the one I'm meant to edit. Okay. Uh, so we need to go over here for AI character in AI characters. Yeah, we're going to serve a new pause X. Yeah, essentially, just copy this. Then if. I'm just thinking. Hmm. This has no grid. It's not. It's not as easy, is it? Because if we had a grid, if we had a, a grid array, we could just check. Oh, if, if, oh, if the grid can, or if the grid can, if this section of the grid contains. But no, we have to be looping through these lists instead. So we're looping for the. So we're looping for the egg. Actually, another way of doing it is if I come to here and loop it. If I, yes. In the, I'm going to change this up a bit. In the generate AI, right? I'm going to call this set AI character random pause. And what we're going to pass over here is we're going to pass in the um, I can either do it here, or I can say, I can just do another loop and loop around it. So, let's say for character class, in character class, put me the character class for that input. What error? If. Oh, I left it blank again. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. Right, let's, let's go up over here again. Okay. Plus object. Okay, that's, that's fine. Print me out. Zero. Play. So that's only the object. That's that's fine. So that's only the object. Okay, that's fine by me. So for character class and character class, let's say over here. Set random, set a random position. What we're going to pass in there is the character class. Oh, sorry. Now we can say over here is we can say over here. Okay, so now we've got over here. So now we've got over here is a um is the class, is the AI object, AI character object, so is AI character object is not what we've been given, um, And what we do now is we say so for, for building object in buildings. Let me just make sure what the hell this building object is. Make sure I know what this building object is. 
so I'm trying to remember what gets stored in that list. Is it just the object or is it any other? So it's just the object. Okay, that's fine then. So what we can save here is for. Um, let's save it here. Some stuff. We're going to save it here. Two positions over here. You can say for burn object in buildings. You can say if if new pause x is not equal. If new pause x is not equal to uh, building building object dot pause x and new pause y is not equal to building object dot pause y then we're going to loop again we that this time we're going to well are we going to loop again Well, we should probably look for the AI characters as well to make sure they're on the same position as well. So for um, AI character object in AI characters, if AI character object zero dot, I believe it's zero now, print AI character object. There is an zero. I'm mistaken. Sometimes I, I might, I might uh, maybe I should utilize this. How many objects is that? Oof, that's quite a few. Probably has that many. Maybe I should utilize over here um, for uh, for AI character objects. I don't know if is it that much? Get rid of that. No way is it that much. No, it's because I'm looping over here, isn't it? Well, actually, one way I could do is I could try and get the list of all locations kind of being used. Actually, that could be that could be another way of doing it. Um, locations occupied. So over here, locations occupied is equal to that. And then I could say over here for building object in buildings. For building object in buildings, I could just say locations occupied. Dot append, and I can just come here, and I want to append is the building object dot pos x comma building object dot pos y. If I do it like this, and then print out, I think it'll be easier because I could just check the, and then just loop around it and check. There's the current uh, although I'm just seeing this. What am I printing? Print out of a loop. There shouldn't be this many buildings, there shouldn't be three buildings. But it's done it four times. That seems a bit wrong to me. Okay. Print me out the building object. Mm -hmm. That seems very much exaggerated. Because I don't think there's that many buildings, is there? I don't, is there? I don't think there is, is there? Buildings. Play. One. 
One, two, three. Exactly, there are three buildings. So what? Oh, I know why. It's because I keep on calling this, aren't I? I keep, I keep, okay, this is what this guy, because I keep on calling this. Okay, don't. We're not going to do it that way anymore. <laughs> and I keep on changing my ways of, of doing it. Um, but, so there the, the, the are multiple ways you could take it, but I'm going to try this different way. Let's try a different approach. Um, so make it always the same. So now there should be no issues. Yep, so there we go, there's our three positions. Uh, so what we, so we we're saying, yep, all these locations are occupied, we're going to now say for um, AI character object in AI characters. We're also going to say here okay, locations, locations occupied dot. I could make this a set, couldn't I? Can make it a set. The difference between a set and an array or a list is that all everything must be unique. So if I say dot add over here instead, so dot add, which should, which should be hopefully a thing, or is it dot add? Yeah, I think dot add should work. Dot add, even though it doesn't appear, the <laughs> hopefully it still works. <laughs> uh, AI character object dot uh, posit. Pos and yeah, put it as an array. Yeah. Hope this still works. Don't. Let's try it up with some different data types. We haven't used many different ones. Let's try up. Try over here. Yeah, no, there's not add. Is it update? There's update. Four and dot add would be one, but no. Update. Does that hopefully that hopefully that just adds in, doesn't like clear it? Override. Um, hmm. Or is it because of the way I defined it? Locations occupied equals set. There's just the set. There is a set function. Okay. There we go. But it doesn't like that. I don't like it like that. I want it, um... It adds it like that, which I'm not a fan of. Don't like it like that. Um, and if I say dot add... Yeah, it's like, nah. Uh, it's a shame then, then you can't really do it as a set. I like to work with different data types and not always be the same. But anyway, whatever. Slightly, slightly, less, slightly less efficient. Because what's going to happen is it. What's going to happen is when I append, it's going to be it's going to append a lot of zeros. And. Then you have to loop through all those zeros, and it's just it's not as efficient. If 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 uh, you got rid of all those extra zeros, that'll be more efficient, since it, since the list will be shorter. As you can see, look, a ton of zeros. <laughs> this was a set. It wouldn't do that, and it'd be much more much more much more uh, efficient. But hey, who? Webs. Also, uh, locations. Occupy dot append, and I want you to append me is my flower dot pos x and my flower dot pos y. Please, I'll then like you to. Then like to um, uh, 
for yeah, that's where we're going to set AI character object in AI characters. We're gonna come up over here with new. These I'll then like you to um, state over here. We're gonna say try to make this function not as long. <laughs> Don't want it as long. Don't want it really long. So if new pause x, if new pause x, comma new pause y, not in uh, locations occupied. And print. Oh, well, well, not print. What we're going to say is we're going to say AI character objects uh, dot set location. That's where we're going to pass in the new pause x and the new new pause y. This so video is going quite long now. Okay, so we've got 16, 24, 32, 11, 8, 22, 19. Cool. It's got many different positions now. Uh, the one thing I'm wondering is. Um, The one thing I am wondering is if if the new pause x and new pause y is in a location occupied, it's not going to go back and redo. It's just going to skip that. <laughs> and that's what I find annoying. It's just it's going to do that, isn't it? Um, what a way to test it. If I then serve here, new pause x equals zero, and new pause y, if I, yeah, let's say it randomizes it to zero, they all become zero. See how they all become zero? Because what happens is it's, oh yeah, if not in, we set the location else, what, we keep it? Um... That's what, and I think that does this apply the same to this issue as well? Just realise I think it. I think it applies to this issue as well. One solution is we say while true, so right, it's a building position. Why is it? Well, that's a, oh, oh, I'm just thinking it would work with the general AIs, but not with the building, I don't think. If I set this to while true, then if I just I'll just do all this. You can then get rid of this and can say. And only afterwards I can say. Um what would I say? Um This becomes tricky. This does become tricky. 
Um, And I think the way I'm going to solve this is by actually creating over here is a locations occupied thing. Uh, locations occupied. I think. Because then I could just check which locations are currently occupied. Can you move them? Yeah. So in the next video, that's what we'll be doing. We're going to be rearranging. We're going to be changing a lot of this random pause instead of having to look into different lists. I think I'm just going to have a locations occupied, uh, and that's it. You're just going to have a locations occupied. Yeah. So when you create the player, we're just going to boom put it in the locations occupied. Uh, of course, what happens if you move? You want to remove that from the locations that are occupied. Buildings do not move, but people do. So we have to remove that. However, uh, for example, we're checking the random position of buildings. We can just check. Do um just um thing here. Uh check which which place is occupied, you know. If your running position is not an occupied place, go for it. Uh, else keep on checking. But yeah, that's gonna have to be for the next video, so subscribe so you know when I upload that next video. Uh, like this video if you did, sorry it was quite a long one, though we, there seems to be even more work to be done in the next one, and hope to see you guys very soon, goodbye.